You're interrupting me. Is this time accounted for? We're on a strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. Then I will remind you that the schedule exists for a reason, and we seem to be ignoring it. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. Ms. Yuko Serrano? Senior Operations Specialist at Ryujin Industries? She's one of the heads of the department you're standing in. She might disagree, but fine. Let's leave her out of it. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a um, minor indiscretion. We're each assigned shifts to assist operatives, ensuring coverage at all hours. Personally, I like to keep my circadian rhythms intact, early to rise, early to bed, as nature intended. I'm not at liberty to say. I will remind you of another common phrase, loose lips sink ships. So be cautious around the office and discuss intel at your peril. Contractually, yes, but I'd rather avoid the embarrassment. Normally I do a good job of setting boundaries between work and life. This incident is an exception. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Pre-assignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents themselves aren't too sensitive, so... If you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty. So... She may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me, and I will pay you for the time. Hmm. Perhaps I can best explain with an analogy. There is an aquatic species on Voli Epsilon, which, my cruel irony or test of metal, hatches on dry land. Only one in 10,000 make it to adulthood. Most are eaten, some simply die in the crawl to the ocean. Meanwhile, there is a similar species that is born in the water itself. They never make this journey and thus never know its hardship. Which begs the question, is that fair? <sighs> I suppose I should just speak plain. I know what you're thinking, and I am not what you'd call a bleeding heart. Moreover, I find the underbelly filthy and unsanitary. But I also believe in equity. I am well aware that my life came with a head start. So I try my best to balance the equation and bring the hatchlings to the water. Ah, think what you will. But I don't have to approve of the notion. But as much as I dislike the underbelly, I will say this. It is a welcome change of pace. When you spend all day keeping secrets, a burden is placed on one's conscience. The time I spend volunteering sheds some of that weight. Until next time.
They better get someone to fill in for Camden soon. I'm down to Anywhere else, a fish processing plant would be no big deal. But that's Bayou's River of Gold. Aren't you the one who took down the Crimson Fleet? Buddy and Sistef was telling me all about it. Pretty amazing stuff. If you got any spare creds, I can always take them off your hands. Hey, Chief, you got any creds you can spare? You kindly. You're a class bass, you know that? I'll do my best to someday pay you back. Streets honor. This isn't a donation, it's an investment. About six years. I bet you could tell by how good I am at it. It took a lot of practice and some work on my messaging. But if you got any feedback, Chief, I'd love to hear it. I don't know. You can learn something from just about anyone. But I did put you on the spot, so no biggie. You want to know the trade secrets, huh? I don't blame you. It's a lot like real estate. Location and timing are big. You gotta be visible, but not so much that people call the guards. Presently, no. Pastly, no. Futurely, it's a work in progress. Depends on how this fiscal quarter goes. But it's gonna take a lot for me to upgrade. I found a primo spot next to the trawl store. I got a roof over my head and all the garbage I can eat. I can't eat everything they throw out, but I can eat enough. Chief, you're a real safety net. You put the ka in catching. Oh, it's all right. Once per day is enough. I don't want you to go poor. Oh, I totally did. Found it in the dumpster right next to a half-eaten chunk. And it was perfect timing, really. You see, the other day, the wind got a nasty cough and blew away all of my business spreadsheets. But that won't happen with this slate. It's like wind resistant. I do. I write them on napkins you get from the eateries and I use sauce packets for ink. It's not a perfect system, but it's pretty damn close. Hmm, that would mean I don't have to start over. All right, deal. I lost them near the employee break area. Look for any papers near the ground, the tables, maybe even the roof. You find all three spreadsheets, and I'll give you the slate.
Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Hand handling's a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. Hey, Chief. Wow, that's real class of you, Chief. A-plus stuff. Now I can get my books sorted, executive style. As promised, you're slate. Tell your techie friend I didn't peek inside. And even if I did, I don't know what half of it says anyway. What's wrong with me, but Neon might be my favorite place to visit. Something you... How's it going? And what's not news today? Imogene exonerated? Ularu off the board for trying to set up both Imogene and Masako? Last mistake she'll ever make. Masako will make sure of that. If Alexis asks about me, I am not here. Can I help you? What is it? Well done. It seems assigning you to this task was time well spent. And as I said when we met, time is money. Hopefully these credits will serve as adequate compensation. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an operative to debrief. Imogene told me she hired another operative. Welcome to the team. I'm April. I can't speak for what every operative does. Uh, people tend to keep their cards close to the chest in operations. But me personally, I'm a field agent. I specialize in gathering intel that our techs can't get, especially blackmail material on high profile clients and execs. Most assignments take me to the Astral Lounge or Paradiso. It's an incredible job. Great perks, too. I spend most of my time undercover living in luxury. It's great, as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of respect for Imogene. She's not afraid to take what she wants. <laughs> and hates paperwork as much as I do. But what I like the most? She trusts us to get things done. None of that micromanaging crap. Maybe we'll run into each other out in the field. I warned people that Tomo was up to
No, no, no. Hey, wait. You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. Am I guilty? No. I mean, yes, yeah, I'm hypothetically involved in Aurora smuggling. But who isn't, right? What's going on here is about more than some bullshit charges. Thank you. Oh God, I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded, he'll take care of you. Oh man, you must still got space dust between your ears. Yannick Legrand's got the best booze and refreshments outside of the Astral Lounge. And unlike Astral, it's priced for real people, not just corporate heels. And he's the maker of blends, so he's the man. In a kind of punch your face sort of way. I, uh, don't. But you are my last and really only chance. You are a regular lifesaver. You're solid. My crate's on block O2 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. This area is for loading and unloading only. Keep moving. Keep it moving. Sleep crates for rent. It's tight, but it's home. Be careful around here. Not everyone that stays in our sleep crates are reputable. That they do. It's the families that really get me. And when those families can no longer even afford a sleep crate, well, that's just my favorite part of the job. If you're struggling, sleep crates are the budget accommodation choice of Neon. It's tight, it's got a smell that's an acquired taste. If you're in the market for a sleep crate, they sadly sell themselves because they're very, very cheap. You have the proper authorization code, and I'll let you into any place you like. I might even throw in a thank you. You look like the type that might appreciate it. More of an observation. Not much to do around here, except clean up after people that have partied too hard... and drink. Don't get much of a chance to talk to the respectable type. I got it, I got it. And... Authentication is all green. Look for C-153. Before you go, I'm going out on a limb here and assuming your account's more flush than my usual clientele. I've got some evicted crates set up to go to the dump, might be full of weak old Kazimbas, or it could have the original Miguel Rafael Bailamos. Only one way to find out. A brilliant piece of art. It celebrates when the colonists first broke ground on Polvo. The vids make it look stunning. All done in charcoal from the embers of their first fire. Well, so the story goes. <laughs> nice to be able to use my art history degree for once. Pro tip, when your parents say there ain't no use for a degree, they aren't lying. In art school, I heard a rumor that Raphael's son sold Bailamos to some UC magnate. The fire was a cover-up. Imagining a piece of free star history in some Deimos Corporation boardroom? Wars have started for less. Man, it's nice to talk about something real. You've made my day. Great. Unit C203 is now keyed to you. Best of luck. I 
have some sleep crate units available for rent, but someone like you, trust me, you can do better. And now we have a 107. I swear it smells in there. So, good luck with that. By the way, that's the last one. Pleasure doing business with you. I got loads of crates for rent. For next time. Something better to do? That's right. Me. Where every vice can be indulged, and they make up new vices every Thursday. Time we thought he was just being some miserable hermit on Aquila. You think he finally regrets disappearing on you all those years ago? No. I think he finally ran out of credits. <laughs> no wonder you're stocking up. If all he wants is credits, he's gonna be out of luck. I haven't seen a leech in a while. You think the city got them all? Ah, a customer. Feel free to spend your credits. Or get the hell out. Your pick. Yeah? You need something? If you're here for blend, I just had a new batch come in last night. Then you gotta be new in Neon, because it's only the most popular drink in this city. You should try one. I guarantee that once you taste it, you'll be hooked. Did you even bother to look at the shop's name before you stumbled in here? Legrand's Liquors? No? Okay, let me help you out then. So I'm Legrand, that's me. And I sell liquor. You know, the stuff that gets you drunk? Ah, here I thought the name would explain it all. Huh? Okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. As soon as word gets out, Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Probably because you can't buy it anywhere else except at my shop. And I mean anywhere. As in the entire settled systems. It's got a special blend of secret ingredients that you can only find in Neon. What? No, I don't care about any of your damn secrets. Wait, do you really think I'm that stupid? Let's get one thing straight. The recipe for blend dies with me. And there's nothing anyone can do or say that will make me change my mind. If that's a letdown for you, then all I can say is... You better get used to disappointment. No! Are you crazy? I've got a captive audience here! Business is booming! Blend is part of the Neon Charm. It's iconic. 
Not to mention that Blend's mix of special ingredients can only be found here. What are you, the nosy type? Why do you care? But if you must know, business is good. It's always good. Blend is a local phenomenon. It gets people in the door. So are you going to buy any, or are you just gonna talk my ear off? Oh, yeah, right. You're with Nasher. I see the family resemblance. You're practically twins. I know he got pinched. So if you are some undercover neon security goon here to shake me down, beat it. Yannick's no one's mark. Well, Nesher wouldn't work with it. Huh, unless he had no choice. What is this about? Oh, really? Huh, fascinating. So Nesher came through. Eh, might be he's less crappy than I gave him credit. <laughs> Who am I kidding? He's a bottom feeder. But when all the good fish get gobbled up by corporations, sickly minnows are all that's left. Take the credit. I am known far and wide for my generosity. Ask anyone. Where are you now? Interesting. You look like talent. Serious talent. And no one knows you. Yes. You are looking at the one and only maker of Yannick's Blend. It's potent. It's good. And as a jackhammer of a kick. <laughs> the kick is the problem. But you may be a solution. I'm thinking a new, cleaner, smarter operation. With you working for me. Oh, it is Yannick's claim to fame. Yes, the Astro Lounge has Aurora, but the lounge is for the fat cats in their fancy suits. Blend is meant for the crate rats and night fishers, for the unwashed. It is hard alcohol with a twist. The twist is Aurora, okay. Everyone suspects, and they are right. You deliver the package for our good friend Neshar, you get things done, and I just got a feeling about you. Plus, need to act fast before everything goes to hell. Ah, <laughs> and smart. I like you. Blend needs Aurora, yes? And Aurora is totally illegal outside of the Astro Lounge. And really, really illegal off-world. If the Rangers catch you with Aurora on a ship, oh boy, it's a long time in the clink. And if the great Benjamin Bayou finds out you're selling it on the streets, even bigger trouble. But so far, I have outsmarted them all. And together, we can keep making loads of credits and making a fool of the great man Bayou at the same time. This man thinks he owns Neon, the only player on the board. But he is too good to look in the gutters where the real people live. So Yannick can carve out his own kingdom and screw Bayou. <laughs> Now you do. So I have a proposal, yes? Nesher's worthless to me now. Loyal, yes. But he'll be watched from now on. Useless. And my other employee, uh, Felix Sadler, makes Nesher look like a genius. I think it is time Felix Sadler takes a vacation. Permanent. Off-world. Or maybe he tragically falls into the ocean, I don't care which. But you deal with him, and you become very valuable to Yannick. Ah, Felix. Felix is a... mess. Samples too much of his own wares, understand? He's been getting worse, and a danger to the whole operation. 
best if he just goes away. It is called delegation. You make the right call, yes? If we're doing this, I'd feel a whole side better if Felix makes it out in one piece. Felix sacks up in some dingy warehouse in Ebside. You will find him there. I gotta tell you, man. Blend is the best. I can't imagine disappearing on. on my Your family secret's like safe that. with me. Yeah. I wonder if I'll even recognize him. Huh? If you got a thirst for, uh, something, Neon can deliver. I didn't Back out there! I thought today was gonna be dope. Run! This fight's gone south! Mm. <laughs> uh. Got one! Where's <laughs> Batty? <laughs> Cute. Real cute. Never mess with a co. Shit! Stop the ringing! Time out! You were awesome! Did you see yourself? Those Sioka Syndicate freaks had no chance! Yannick came through! That asshole rescued his boy! Tell him I won't forget, we are tight! Like I have any goddamn idea! But they'll regret messing with Yannick, yeah? I cannot be hearing you right. Off world. Just pack up and go? No, 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 no. That, that can't be right. I mean, Yannick screwed without me. We had big plans. Big! Tell you what. Screw Yannick. I hope the Syndicate string him up and execute the bastard. And screw you too. Yeah. Oh, I feel so honored to know you and how you're saving me from my own damn life. You expect me to just... I mean, after what you did to all the... All right! Sheesh. I'm leaving. Tell Yannick I'll miss him. Or maybe not. All you.
It's a bad place for tourists these days. Not interested. Neon's dangerous, but man, can it be a lot of fun. Take it easy. What's up? You deal with Felix yet? I'm sure it was a great pleasure. Not happily. Not many options. He does not hold up a candle to you. No, I do not. But I will find out. You get results. Like me. <laughs> well, hopefully not too much like me, right? <laughs> so, now, new business plan. Where I am the boss and you are my capable and well-rewarded underling, eh? Yannick's yeah? blend is running low. Soon there will be angry customer, and that's bad for business. What we need is Aurora, and there's only one place to get that. Zeno Fresh Fisheries. Nasher worked there and had a secret contact. Even secret from me, his good friend, who supplied the Aurora. I said he wanted to protect them, that it was safer if no one knew. No matter how I pressed him, he'd clam up. Very frustrating. Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. So, it is time for you to become a productive member of society and get a job at Xenofresh. And here are some superb and very legitimate credentials. And your new name is... Riley Chernyshevsky. Eh? Nice to meet you, Riley. <laughs> so you apply there to work in production. Oh, uh, you know how to make amp, yes? Simple recipe. They expect applicants to know basic chemistry. Of course they will. Only the best for my junior... very junior partner. Actually, associate. More like an associate, yes, that's better. Amp is... Steroid. Very strong. Very powerful. Legal. For the moment. Neshar said one of the interview questions is about this. Of course you can. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a good impression. Neshar's contact should be looking for someone like you. So find them. Then, we line up more Aurora, and profits will flow. Coraland here. Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Welcome to Xenofresh Fisheries, the pride of Neon. Xenofresh is the best place to work in Neon, hands down. 
The pay is good, the hours are respectable, and the company's profits are skyrocketing. We're fortunate that Administrator Bayou dedicates his time and brilliance to see our company excel. The Free Star Collective has given Xenofresh Fisheries the sole right to fish chasm bass and use it to produce Aurora. If you care to sample some yourself, we have it for sale at the famous Astral Lounge. Although Aurora is our flagship product, we also produce a line of delicious seafood products as well. You've come to the right place. Xenofresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family. The application kiosk is over there, but feel free to ask me any questions. Job candidates with background in chemistry are highly sought after here. I highly advise you to look at the application kiosk. It was nice talking with you. Whoa, 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 what? Riley, oh God, is that Cherny Sheetsky? Cherry, I'm so sorry. Miss Gurov would like to interview for the position. She's in the underbelly on the factory floor. She'll be expecting you. Candidates like yourself are often fast-tracked through the application process. I have no response to that. Have a nice day. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Can't you say I'm busy? <laughs> You're not a plate of croissants. Croissants. I had commissioned a special order of baked goods for our next board meeting. It's called sarcasm. Read the room, for God's sake. You could react by simply telling me you're not the delivery person I was expecting. This isn't difficult. That foolish girl up front must have allowed you back here. I'm going to have to have a bit of a chat with her later. Look, I'm really quite busy. If you're not here on Xenofresh business, I'm going to have to ask that you leave. My name's Libby Groth, and I am the CFO of Xenofresh Fisheries. And since I answer directly to Administrator Bayou, I hope you aren't here to cause any sort of trouble. The last thing I need right now are more protests and complaints to deal with. Everything under the sun, from unfair business practices to reported bad working conditions to the price of Aurora. We're the number one most successful corporation on Neon, so we're obviously a huge target of opportunity for slander and false accusations. Everyone's looking for a free handout or a tiny piece of the massive success that we've accomplished. Well, I'll tell you the same thing I tell them before I have them escorted out. It's not going to happen. Not on my watch. I have a hundred things to do, and you're number 101 on my list, so if you'll excuse me. Just one quiet day. Not too much to ask for.
Tracker's Alliance always finds their mark. Too bad I can't squeeze any of Laura from this fish. who promised a 30% increase this quarter, Libby. In fact, you can find my goddamn recommendation on file, which you ignored. Mr. Bay was expecting the event to go off smoothly. He personally expects it. I can't make something out of nothing. Everything is falling apart down here. I need my new budget approved immediately. Hello? Hello? Ay! You're the new applicant, right? Riley? So you learned on the job at uh, Argos? Not bad, not bad. But that's not what's important. You know remedial chemistry and seem to be living and breathing. You're goddamn hired. By all means, go ahead and talk me out of it. Ah! This job isn't about asking questions. It's about getting to work. If you're too much of a pain in the ass, I can easily find ten people that would kill for this opening. Good. Good. Take this and put it on. Time to get to work. Follow me. Must be so nice to have no weaknesses. Sheesh. Wear the damn clean suit every minute you're on the job. It's for your safety. I can't have any more of you dropping dead because you can't follow simple directions. Clear? So, here is the facility. Don't go anywhere. You work the assembly line, you make what's asked, and you get paid and go back to whatever crate hole you come from. Don't ask questions, do only what's asked. Remember, you are just one tiny cog in the Xenofresh machine. Don't fraternize, except on a break. Here we go, the assembly line. Job simple, the hopper will spit out ingredients. The computer tells you what to make, you take the ingredients from the hopper. We know to the milligram what's needed. So take what's required, no more, no less. Then, it comes out of your pay. And only what you need. The other thing is speed. We got a quota. As soon as the screen spits out a compound, the timer starts. So use the station to craft the compound, then put it in the other hopper. You beat the time and you maybe make employee of the month, get a bonus, maybe get promoted one day so you can have your own little crate rats. You take too long, don't take too long. Questions? Ah, 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 you weren't listening. Don't ask questions. Just make what you were asked, period. Ah, if your fingers are as fast as you run your mouth, you'll do fine. We understand each other, right? You get one run through with training wheels, no time limit to learn the system. After that, the clock is ticking. Finish your shift, do well, and maybe you come back. You could go to the break room before you leave. Training program commencing, create one batch. No time limit.
looks pretty useful. Yeah, I'd rather be cleaning fish than running with a street gang. Can this wait? I need to wash the fish smell out of these clothes. Some bad skills get everywhere. I even found one in. thought I'd be getting paid to work in a drug lab. New faces are always coming through here. Welcome to the line. Hope you like your every move being recorded and digitized for Silicon posterity. Here, there, everywhere. You can really feel the trust. That's a good one. Speaking of security, oh no, an outage? Fortunately for us, the damn things are broken like 98% of the time. You happen to know Nesher? Poor guy got picked up by security. Security doesn't generate money, it's an expense. An easy target if you're short-sighted and want the quarterly budget report to look good. Bingo. The fact I'm still free means Nesher didn't rat me out to security. I knew whoever he was working for would send a replacement. Are we back in business? Shit. I wish Nesher had told me that. Huh. <sighs> I'm in too deep to back out. I'll give you the cords to the merchandise. It's up to you to get it and do whatever you do. If you need more, you know... Work a shift and meet me here in the break room, and I'll give you the new drop cords. Pleasure doing business with you. But I wouldn't give for just one. If 
Mighty Fish. Come on, Tom. Glitter and a whole lot of sin. Wait, the boss is expecting you. Go in. And now all the interested parties have convened. Yannick, Yannick, Yannick. Did you think you could use Aurora in my city without me knowing? Another bloodbath in Ebside isn't good for the tourists. Still, sometimes blood's gotta flow. And you. I should have known you were involved. <sighs> What's the percentage in letting Yannick leave here alive? <laughs> An investigation. Priceless. No investigation, no trial. Just more food for the fishes. Your associate makes a decent case. But, uh, you fucking ripped me off, Yannick. I hate being ripped off. Your lounge has the upscale market covered, Mr. Bayou. But there are so many credits lying on the table, begging to be taken. Go on. We use just a smidgen of Aurora to make blend, and blend is priced for everyone. <laughs> Please, tell him. Yes, tell me. Hmm. So, you've got an emerging market cornered. Yannick, I'd almost think you're a businessman. Almost. Yannick has just started. The credits are rolling in. Wait. Did you just call yourself Yannick? For real? Uh, I... I... Muzzle it. Here's the deal. You get to keep smuggling Aurora out of the fishery. You make your blend and sell whatever extra Aurora you want on the streets. But I'm taking 20% of the profit for having to deal with your bullshit. We're done. Yannick, get busy making me my money. Just another lousy day in the am I right? Oh, Yannick's heart. Hey, she's still beating so very fast. Ah, Mr. Bayou is formidable, huh? Are, are you okay? I hope we're still simpatico, yes? I mean, yes, he is. Our profits go down, yes, but we don't have to worry about being caught anymore. So, business as usual, yes? You do a shift at Xenofresh and your contact tells you where to pick up Aurora. You go there, make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. No time pressure, any time you want. Take a break if you like. Do you want to ask him? But if I had to guess, he probably doesn't want to muddy his reputation with us. And if anything goes wrong, total deniability. But it's all safe now. Easy credits. Maybe come back later, yes? I think we've helped you more than enough for one lifetime, Yannick. <laughs>